Sunday football divisional round. Derek Cincy at Buffalo. Buffalo minus five and a half. Over under sitting at 48. Back on the fade, Devin Singletary. Under 10 and a half carries. Minus 125. That's a 365. That's a play from you. We're seeing the market tumble. It's been hit by uh, some some powerful betting groups and syndicates, but there's still some ten and a halfs out there. What are your projections for Singletary, who is obviously losing snaps to James Cook? They're becoming healthier with the uh, the addition of Isaiah McKenzie, so there's more passing options there. And then add in Josh Allen rushes. There's only so many. There's only so many carries for this Buffalo offense. Yeah, exactly. And it's a Buffalo offense that is extremely pass heavy to begin with and is facing a Cincinnati offense that, you know, should be able to keep the game fairly close and and plays at a very slow pace. So just less overall volume for the Bills here. But like you said, Singletary has been losing work. Uh, the market has certainly been moving in this direction. I think I, I got it at 10 and a half minus 105 last night. And now we're seeing nine and a half out there. It's just been moving like crazy. Uh, the blitz is projecting a little over eight and a half. So, you know, about, you know, a little less than two carries under the line here. We're getting it still at pretty decent odds and it really, it sets up pretty well when you consider the game environment. 10 carries last week, two coming on the clock, killing final drive. I think he gained 11 yards in his final two carries, which sunk my under that was awful. But James Cook, 12 carries. Josh Allen has seemingly, has seemingly been more aggressive, which also eats up yards, which takes away total plays. Uh, his RPOs have been seemingly strictly passing. And like I said, more deep shots leads to more fewer running plays, more incompletes, which leads to more passing downs. So all of those things kind of add up there. Don't be afraid to follow the market. Nine and a half is iffy, I'm sure, but I probably wouldn't be laying heavy juice on the nine and a half. No, I wouldn't either. You know, if we were getting it, you know, nine and a half plus 150, plus 120, even like maybe you're thinking about it, but the nine and a halfs now are like minus 120, minus 130, and I, I don't think I'm in there. Yeah, it's steam. So if you're getting to this play late and the number is gone, we apologize, but that's just. <laughs> That's just what happens at the end of the day. Uh, finishing with that closing line value is the ultimate goal. And that's what we're doing here with single Terry. And then the other side, the Gabe Davis hype train is, is out of control. He was lucky last week to play versus a Miami defense that blitzed a ton and played man coverage. And that's why we saw Josh Allen taking a ton of deep shots, which led to a, a big day for Gabe Davis. Everybody thought it was a Gabe Davis from last year's playoffs. He's he was been quiet all year and now we saw a jump in his yardage from I believe it was 49 last week to 58 this week but the receptions are still here at three and a half and this is a lean for you on the under uh as high as long as plus 120 what are your projections for Davis the projection is about 3.3 3.4 so it's a, uh, it's a coin flip. Basically it projects to win about 52% of the time, but at plus plus one twenty, you're getting a little bit of value out of it. Yeah. So Isaiah McKenzie, he returned to full practice that cuts into the snaps. Cole Beasley's getting a bigger role, which is I, Josh. Every time he throws it to him, I don't understand. He's just getting reps, but Josh Allen loves him. So he's getting reps. Khalil Shakir who I love, who doesn't have any markets open yet. Uh, his alt line would have been good last week. He's also in the mix. Davis, 10 and 6 to the under, 15% target share, recency bias. There's a lot to like fading Gabe Davis in the strategy of big game. Probably another big game coming in a high total game, but no, there's a lot of things that are changing. So like the Gabe Davis under, anything to add on Davis? No, I mean, again, like we said with Singletary, this projects as the slowest pace game of this week. Uh, particularly, it's a pace down spot for Buffalo because Cincinnati plays so slow. And so just less total play volume. 
Perfect. So let's do that. Singletary under 10 and a half carries market moving down quickly. And Gabe Davis under three and a half receptions projection just under that, but at plus money, pretty much across the board, there's some value in that. Let's get out of game one. We'll see you back here for game two on Sunday. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Hardy. These are his blitz projections brought to you by covers. See you Sunday night football.